Hello everyone, you are warm welcome to the course of Sophos Exist Firewall. Today we are going to cover up a web policy. So without having a further delay let's get started. Here you can see on my screen that I have the basic topology of my LAN which is connected towards the internet via port 1 this is incoming and this is outgoing. So this is the LAN side, this is the WAN side, this is very basic. Currently we are on control center so this is a basic dashboard where you can see your system, network inside and user uh, details. You can see the allowed application categories, then web application and the web traffic as well. And you can see the reports, detail and uh, you can see your CPU, bandwidth, memory, session count and everything you can able to configure on your dashboard. Okay, so let's go to the web traffic. So this is the web uh, policy using web tab. You can see here there are multiple tabs. We're going to cover up each of the tabs and uh, we're going to add this. So to create the web filter policy, what you have to do is So here you can see that we go to add policy okay now we have to give the name so we'll give the name as LAN users web policy okay for all the LAN users okay you want to add description you can add the description adding whatever you want to whitelist whatever you need to blacklist okay so the default action here is all allow we have to click on add rule okay, here you can see anybody and all traffic is blocked because it's cross when you click here it's blog HTTP okay so just anybody because we need LAN user we can also select the network as well if we remove this okay so we can able to do that as well and uh, currently we selecting anybody okay now web traffic so here we have to select all web traffic which is like nothing is accessible to the LAN user right so we have to remove that and we have to search for what we want to remove it so for example if you want to remove a particular website if you want to know that it is considered as uh, you know it's considered as a malicious so you can do uh, identify that as well so for that just what you have to do is you click on cancel over here go to diagnostic and URL category lookup so for example if you want to block Instagram for your LAN users search so here you can see that under social networking your Instagram is there if you want to block IP stressor com is considered as information technology so uh, you can select the category wise and you can delete uh, you can uh, uh, block that access okay so currently if you want to block YouTube as well here you can see that video hosting okay and Instagram is social networking right we go to web policy then we have to add policy here so we gave the name as LAN user web policy and we saw the default actions as well now what we're going to do is we're going to add rule and anybody and we select all we remove this so under that just go to user all types select and then search as social networking so here you can see we have selected social networking and the other one is uh, video hosting for that also all types so you can see video hosting is there okay we have selected both of that okay so it's all the action should be block and we have to select block HTTPS as well so after adding social networking and video hosting for YouTube and social networking for Instagram, let's just enable the status.
so except that everything is allowed okay now LAN user web policy okay we are also going to select the search uh, and for so save search and for additional item so here this this feature is basically used for if you are in an environment where you are looking to have the save search while anybody is uh, searching on the search engine uh, whether it could be google engine you can say yahoo or binge or anything okay you can also enforce the YouTube restriction and restriction levels so there's a levels as well in terms of YouTube restrictions so if you want uh, some content which is not feasible you are in any environment where below 18 so you can enforce that as well so we're going to see the deep diving into these two options as well currently we're not touching any of the advanced option we just uh, click on save okay and now it's asking that we want to add this to the firewall rule yes we want to add it so go to firewall rules so this is our firewall rule as land to vent traffic just select that there's land to vent traffic that we created now here you can see web filtering under web filtering we have uh, created as this one lab user land user web policy okay so we just select this and there's an option that scan HTTP or decrypt HTTPS as well it's zero day protection as well you can select that so we'll scan FTP for malware as well if you want to select it you can do it for malware scanning if you have the authorized license for that as well for zero day there is another different license that you have to purchase uh, for for the sofas okay and you do it if even if you unselect it is no problem because we are just doing it uh, for uh, for learning purpose okay so we just select this and there's none of the other security features that we have configured as of now uh, so just uh, scroll down and save so we have saved this now there is an option in Sophos firewall that you can able to test the policy which is just below the all the web policies you can see the policy tab here is the policy test just click on that and here just hold on for a while here to test the policy we type the URL so first we're going to type instagram.com and we have not using for authenticated users so just keep it blank the firewall test method keep it as default the source IP is 172.16.16.17 and the zone is our LAN zone okay and click on test let's hold on it gives us the result that whether it will allow that policy or it will deny it so here you can see the result as it's land to one policy and the result is blocked because we have enabled the status as action is denied and as social media it comes as Instagram comes under social media so this is what you can get the result you can also check as www.instagram.com You can see that it shows that your connection is not private. Now let's check if we can able to access YouTube or not. So for that, just type YouTube.com. As you can see that your connection is in private means that our YouTube is also not accessible at the same time. 